Okay, Stacy, let's take a closer look at the CompuTorque SG. So, the U button here is to change the units. You see the wrench as in foot pounds. So, when you push the button, the U button, you can change it to inch pounds, change it to newton meter, kilogram centimeter, deca newton meter, and then back to foot pounds. Okay, that was easy. Mm -hmm. Multiple units of torque. Now to set the target torque, we use the up or down arrow key and just select your torque. One single push changes it by one value at a time, one foot pound in this case. If you push and hold the button, it'll start by counting one and then it starts skipping by tens. So you can see it goes 70, 80, 90, 100. So you can set it up pretty quickly. And it also goes in a circular rotation. So this wrench is a maximum of 100 foot pounds. So if I go up from 100, Oh, right. it, okay. it goes back around to five. Okay. This wrench can be programmed with up to 50 preset torque values. The values can be in any unit of torque and it can be in any unit of angle as well. So with 50 choices, it gives you a wide range of applications you can use this wrench for. So let's look at some of the other features. We're gonna go into the menu here, and we're just gonna briefly explain what the different values, different options are. So this wrench is capable of setting a head length. For example, if you're using a crow foot adapter, this wrench will automatically compensate for that. So you push this button, and here's where you have the set head length. So you measure from the center of the square drive to the center of the crow foot. You enter this amount here, and the wrench will automatically compensate for that crow foot. Once you set the desired length, just hit enter to accept it, and you're done. Now the next item down is show data. So this will show you what's been stored in the wrench, all the values that have been stored, the time and the date that they were taken. The next item down is clear data. So you highlight that, hit enter, and if you want to erase the data, you go key up to yes, push the enter key, and erase the data.